hello it's april and welcome to snapdragon hollow today i have a really fun remint set to open up today this is one i've been excited to open up for quite some time it is called rosen palace so as you can see there um, that's what it's called i don't know if it's rosen or roses palace um, we'll just call it roses palace though i think and um, you can see this beautiful living room that we have here to put together this is a complete set it's a much longer set than normal they're usually about this long um, and this one's quite a bit longer so i'm excited to see all of the furniture inside looks like we have eight different sets here a, a china hutch there a fireplace a harp with some artwork a little chase lounge here and some tea and here we have a writing desk a beautiful chair a table and cake set and then some uh, costumes here or outfits here it says shall we dance so i'm very eager to open this set up you can see the box here it's very beautiful I imagine some of this artwork is inside this box here and we'll save that to cut out. Here is this side of the box as well. There's a really pretty picture of a doll there. This is such a beautiful set. I really love this style of remint that they're coming out with lately. It's just so beautiful. I love that writing desk and all of the fun furniture that comes in this set here. I have my room box in the back and we'll go ahead and set this room up. I am not gonna be using this room box set for um, my dollhouse or any dollhouse projects. I'm just going to keep it in my remit collection. I do, however, have a doll in mind that I would like to display with this set. It doesn't quite match the palatial setting here. This looks like a very posh royal apartment here um, with this finely dressed lady here. But uh, when I heard the name was Rose and Palace, I thought of one of my favorite vintage dolls, Rose Petal from Rose Petal Place. So I have her here today. She is a very old doll here. I do not have all of uh, the dolls in this collection. I just decided to only collect one of her. I used to have the whole collection of vintage uh, Rose Petal Place dolls, um, but I had to downsize some of my collection. I did keep her though. I think she's really cute. She needs a little bit of touching up on her hair and face. I haven't had time to do that yet, but she is so cute. And I definitely thought that Rose Petal fit perfectly with this set here. So we're gonna go ahead and let her use some of this furniture today. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear my surface here a bit and get this box opened up and we can start taking a look at this remint set. So we have rose petal there in the back. You'll have to let me know in the comments below if you um, remember Rose Petal Place from back in the 80s and the really wonderful musical show, cartoon show that went along with Rose Petal and all of her friends. I just loved that um, show. I had the audio cassette soundtrack for Rose Petal Place, and me and my sister loved singing along to that. So very fond memories there. You'll, again, you'll have to let me know in the comments if you're familiar with Rose Petal Place. Let's go ahead and take a look at this fun remit set here. Just like I suspected, there is some beautiful cutouts uh, included here. I'll have to go ahead and cut those out as a backdrop for the future um, if I ever want to use that in a little room box. Looks like a beautiful floor here with a nice rug. That is so pretty. And here is the set, all eight boxes. Let's go ahead and take a close-up look at the box here. You can see Rosen Palace there, all of the beautiful accessories. And again, all the different sets. Set number one is called Tea Party. Set number two is called Gorgeous Interior. Set number three is called Art is a Life. Set number four is Time to Relax. Set number five is Dear My Beloved. And six is Be Elegant. Seven is Let Them Eat Cake. And eight is Shall We Dance. So lots of really fun choices. Let's go ahead and see which one we have here first. Looks like we have this set here. And that is the Shall We Dance set here. It comes with a little booklet. And it looks like the character here and a little picture of her that we could cut out too if we wanted. Okay, I'll go ahead and open all these up and show you up close each little piece. Got this here. This might be part of a hat stand perhaps it looks like. 
maybe I'm not 100% sure it doesn't quite work with that but a little hat there that's really beautiful and a hat stand I believe we have a beautiful parasol that matches the hat I love all the detail there it's so pretty we have these uh, masquerade glasses here masquerade mask I should say that's beautiful we have a fan. Oh, whoa, that's beautiful. I did not see the design on that. That's so nice. Definitely fits rose petal back there with all the beautiful roses. We have two lovely pair of shoes here that match the hat and the umbrella. As you can see, is a sort of purpley design that we've got going on here. That's very pretty. And then lastly, it looks like we have a little sticker here. I'll have to see what that goes to. And we have, it looks like an envelope, a beautiful envelope here that is an invitation. So it's an invitation to a masquerade ball. That is such cute detail. I absolutely love that. So you could go ahead and fold that around and make a little invitation to the masquerade ball. I think I know what this is. I bet that this is a letter seal for the letter there. So if you wanted to seal it shut, you could do that. That is so cute. So there we have those accessories. Let's go ahead and get into our next box here. Ooh, we have a bigger piece here. Oh, I think this is piece number one. That is a beautiful display case there. It looks like we have two um, bags in here. And then we have a little booklet here. Again, this is set number one, Tea Party. Looks like it comes with two plates, two goblets, and this beautiful china hutch here. And inside is another picture of a lady there. So it looks like a couple different ones that you could cut out perhaps and use as little paper dolls. So here is the little china cabinet. It opens up and there are spots to put the little shelves in. So I'll go ahead and get that opened up in just a minute here. Look at the detail of this little china hutch. I love all of that beautiful molded detail. This is so pretty. Here are the little goblets. You can see gold edged detail there. Very pretty. Let's see if you can see that. There we go. Kind of see the beautiful pattern there on the edge of the glasses. Comes with two of those as well as two tiny plates also with a beautiful pattern on the edges there. And then two shelves for the china cabinet that we'll go ahead and put inside just like so. Then we can store some of our little glasses and plates inside the china hutch. Okay, now for our third box. Okay, our third box also comes with a piece of furniture. Looks like the fireplace. Here's a little paper. It says gorgeous interior and you can see all of the things for the fireplace and the decorations for the mantel. Here is the fireplace. Contains a little opening there to put the fire. I love the detail of this piece and the like faux wood grain there that they've uh, painted that with. That really adds a lot of nice detail, either uh, wood or I suppose it could be some kind of marble also. Um, rose petal is obviously not the correct scale for this set. This is a much smaller scale set. I'm not 100% sure what scale this is. Um, probably closer to 1 24th. Although I'm not 100% sure, it does look a little bit too small for 112. And Rose Pebble herself, I'm not sure of her scale either. She's definitely a little bit bigger than a 112th scale uh, dollhouse doll because her head is bigger. But of course she's shorter than Barbie and things like that. So she is her own little scale there. Here is some firewood that we can set in the fire here. Fireplace. We have... A candelabra, some pretty little candles there. Again, love the detail of that piece. We have a beautiful vase here. Wow, these pieces, even though they are not all um, 1 12th scale, you could definitely work pieces like this into any dollhouse room, I think. So go ahead and put that also on the mantle there. And here we have the clock. And they also have a little sticker here to go ahead and put the time clock in. I'll do that here in a second. That is a really pretty clock. 
the detail um, molded plastic here is really, really beautiful. And I love the color red that this is. It's not just like the stark um, bright red. It's a little bit more muted and elegant looking. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get the clock face on the clock there, and there we go. There is our little fireplace and mantel decor. That was a really fun set. Let's see what's inside this one. Another of our beautiful characters here. So pretty. Okay, and box number four. Okay, so here is box number four, another beautiful piece of furniture and accessories. And we have set number seven, Let the Meat Cake. So we've got a little coffee table there with it looks like some tea and a fork and a beautiful dessert tray with little desserts on it, possibly even little uh, macarons. I'll have to check that out here in just a second. And here is another um, character in here. So this character here looks like she might be the maid here, serving tea, holding a cat. I love all these little characters that they come with. That is so fun, very cute. And here is our beautiful little table here with all of the rose details along the edge. Nice molded plastic detail there as well. Nice legs. All the detail that goes into these pieces is really nice. They definitely don't skimp on um, the molded detail on the plastics. I really love that. And then for all of the accessories here, here we have our beautiful cup and saucer. Let's see if I can get that to focus there so you can see the beautiful pattern. This looks like a beautiful vintage teacup. And there's the little matching teacup here. And it also comes with a little tiny bit of tea that you can put inside. So it can either be full or empty there. There's our little cup of tea. We have a nice selection and these are indeed macarons. So we have all the different beautiful colors and flavors of macarons to put on our dessert tray. And here we have some little miniature bunt cakes that are absolutely adorable looking, perfect for tea time. Here is our little fork. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in this baggie until I set up our scene there. There is a little teeny tiny flower at the end though, so also attention to detail with even the littlest fork. And then here is our little two-tiered tea tray. You can see it just snaps together like so, and we'll be able to fill that with our desserts. So there we go. You can see in the back there, the scale of this is just a little bit off to me, the um, scale of the tea tray looks really big for this table, but that is okay. I still think it looks wonderful. And we are halfway through the box. This is box number five. And we have this set here, Art is Life. The beautiful harp and artwork and book and music and our little bust there. So we've got all of these pieces here. I love this harp, that is so fun. Um, again, I love Remint collectibles. You can use them for their own room box or you can pull the pieces uh, to use as you see fit um, for different miniature scenes that you might have. Here is the beautiful harp. I love all the gold detail there. Very beautiful. That is so nice. Wow, that's a fun piece right there. And then we've got some music it looks like. Here we go, some sheets of music to put together into a little book. The song is called Petite Rose. And here is this beautiful picture here. And the picture can go in the frame, just like so. So now we have a beautiful framed picture, a portrait here. And it looks like it doesn't have a stand, so this would either be propped up or you could use a little museum wax to adhere that to the wall. There's another piece that can go on our mantle or perhaps a side table. This beautiful bust here looks like a, perhaps a female character. That's really beautiful. And then a couple of really pretty books. This uh, strip here along the edge does look a bit like a paint flaw or something. Um, not 100% sure. I, no, it could also be like a ribbon. Um, we can call it that. We can say it's a ribbon, a marking place ribbon for this book. But that's really beautiful. It does not open. It's just a plastic little book. 
And then we have an open book here that is also really, really beautiful. Matches the design there, just like so. We have like a rose coat of arms there. Very pretty. So we're getting a really nice collection of accessories. Let's take a look inside this one. We have another picture of a lady there. And again, that was the Art is Life set. We have three more to open up. This is our sixth one. And let's see. Oh, we have the one with the chair. This is called um, Be Elegant. And I'm really excited about some of the accessories here. You can see this looks like a jewelry box with a hinged opening there and some perhaps perfume uh, bottles and a beautiful crown. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these accessories opened up. So here is the beautiful jewelry box with roses and the matching red color. We can open it up here and put in this teeny tiny little ring. Looks like an emerald. And then we also have a beautiful ruby or garnet perhaps. Beautiful little jewelry for the jewelry box. I think that that's so cool. We've got some perfume bottles. I believe there are stickers that we can attach to these bottles. So some little um, perfume bottles there. One has a stopper. There you can put the stopper right in the bottle there. And this one might have an atomizer, it looks like. There we go. I suppose you could swap them out too, whichever one you want, but I think that this is actually what the picture shows here. And yes, it looks like there will be a sticker for those. Here's the sticker for the bottle. I will get that uh, put on. Well, the green one does not have a sticker. It actually already has this little imprint in it of a rose, a gold rose. And then lastly, we have another piece of jewelry, this beautiful tiara with a matching green gem to the ring. That is very pretty. Now let's go ahead and open the chair. There is the cute little chair here. This is so pretty. I love the quilted back detail there. Looks like a nice leather antique style chair. That's really beautiful. And let's look on the inside of the flyer here. We have another character here. Shows her jewelry and her portrait. We have a whole cast of royal characters with this set. And we have two left. Box number seven. Okay, let's see here. Oh, we have the Chase Lounge set. Here's what's in this set here. It's called Time to Relax. It comes with two pieces of furniture, a footstool and a chase lounge, as well as a teapot and another teacup and tray. And here is the beautiful chase lounge. I think Rose Petal uh, could fit on this actually. Um, very, very pretty. I love that. I love the color of red that they've chosen to use. Here is the beautiful footstool. It matches the chair really nicely also, as well as the lounge. So I'm sure you could use it for either um, piece of furniture there. So pretty. The legs are really delicate. We have the tray here with beautiful embossed detail. It's supposed to be a very beautiful silver platter. Here is the matching tea pot or tea kettle. That is so pretty. Wow, very detailed and lovely. And then we have another cup of tea with a saucer. And again, this matches the other one. So we have a set of two now. She can have a friend over. And again, also with the little tea that you can put in the cup. So very, very cute. Okay, now we're on our last box here. Let's go ahead and see the last piece um, that we get. We have the writing desk, which I'm really excited to see in person here. This set is set number five, Dear My Beloved, and it comes with some letter writing um, equipment. It looks like a little, uh, Little glasses there, spectacles, and some wax melts and candle, inkwell, all that. And the desk. Here is the desk. Let's see if this opens up. Yes, it does. So you open it up to the writing surface here. I love the detail here, the gold detail. It comes with two little drawers that open up. So you could store the accessories inside this beautiful desk. 
And then let's go ahead and open up our final little miniature accessories here. We have our ink well here, and we have an, a stamper, a wax stamper, and a feather pen. So we've got all of that. The ink well does open up, so you can dip your feather pen into it if you'd like. We have our little spectacles here, and they even have a little uh, plastic in the lenses, which I think is really great. A lot of the times they'll just be, you know, it would just be hollow. They wouldn't actually have little pieces of plastic. So the fact that they do is wonderful detail there. We've got a really pretty candlestick here so she can write um, properly there with some light. And we've got a little uh, wax melting uh, cup here, or spoon I should say, to melt our sealing wax. We got a really wonderful wax sealing set in our last remint set, so I'm really happy to be having all these fun wax melting uh, sets here in miniature. I love them in full size too. Um, and here we have a beautiful envelope and a letter here, two-sided also. So we've got a letter on that side and that side and a seal to seal the envelope there once you're ready to mail your letter. And on the inside of this, we have, oh, we have a male character, the first male character here um, in our little story of uh, characters here for the Rosen Palace set. So I'm gonna go ahead now and get all of these miniatures set up in our room box back there with my little vintage rose petal place doll. And I'll be back to show you what that all looks like. Okay, so I have the whole set, Rosen Palace Remint set, all set up here in my room box. I love all the pieces and the way that they work together there. They are just so beautiful. Lots of wonderful pieces here. You could definitely work into many different scenes. Here is the backdrop that I cut out of the box. I'll probably hold on to that for later. I did, however, cut out the carpet and put that in the little room there. And we have our little rose petal place here doll. She is, of course, a little too big for this set, but I just loved the thought of a rose petal um, having this beautiful room here. So let's go ahead and take a close-up look at this beautiful room. So there we have it, the beautiful Rosen Palace set here. So, so pretty. I absolutely love all of these accessories. I love the little tea set here, the um, teacups with the saucers and all the different desserts, the beautiful furniture. I love that writing desk. That is just so pretty. I love how nicely the portrait looks over the fireplace there. The harp is very pretty. The little curio cabinet there or china cabinet there holds things really nicely. I put the jewelry chest in there, hung the hat on the hat stand and set some of the odds and ends around the room here. You can see her little masquerade invitation with her masquerade mask and her shoes and parasol. So very, very pretty. I'm just curious now to see if we can get Rose Petal to sit in one of these, uh, either the bigger um, cheese lounge there or the chair. Of course, Rose Petal only bends at the waist here. We'll have to move stuff out of the way for her. because She's obviously a little bit big for this room. Yeah, she's a little bit big for that chair. <laughs> but she does kind of fit. She, you can prop her there just barely, and now she can sit in her pretty room here waiting for the masquerade ball. 
So that is a really fun set. I definitely enjoyed opening that up. It was so fun to look at all of these pieces. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at this Remint Rosen Palace complete set here. I'd be very curious what your favorite piece is in this set. I think I'm going to go with the writing desk and all the accessories. And I think that the harp is a close second because I've never had a miniature harp in one of these sets before, I don't believe. So very, very beautiful. So those are my favorites. And again, I'd love to hear what your favorites are as well as if you remember or had Rose Petal uh, from Rose Petal Place here when you were younger or if you remember her at all, if you're a vintage doll collector. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.